Where do Ireland go from here? Winning away from home in France on the first weekend of this Six Nations Championship. It can't get better than that, can it? Well, today I'm going to be looking at the Ireland team that I think will be selected to face Italy this coming weekend. Hello, amateurs. Welcome back to our Six Nations series. I'm going to be with you throughout the championship and beyond. So hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. Now, just a quick overview of how Ireland went against France. It was a, just a thoroughly competent performance. They were on it, I thought, for the entire 80 minutes. And added to that, just some, some electric play as well to get some, some excellent tries against a France team, which sadly didn't show up too well. But Ireland's performance was a very solid one. Elko and I discussed it at length, uh, and I'll link that one up there. So go and have a look at that to find out what we made of that performance. Now, squad updates. Uh, there aren't any, as far as I can tell at this point. Gary Ringrose hasn't trained today. This is Wednesday as I'm talking. Uh, so it's very unlikely that he'll be fit for this weekend. So it's really they're, they're going with what they had before, which, you know, obviously they'd love to have Ringrose back, but to have a fully fit squad otherwise is excellent for Ireland. And we are going to start by looking at the forwards. And these are the people who I think are nailed on to start to keep their shirts following last weekend's game. And as you can see, I've gone for absolutely everybody. This forward pack were outstanding last weekend. Maybe the only slight downside were a few scrum penalties and a little bit under pressure there. But actually, I thought they came back in and battled well in the scrum overall. It's, it's tough against that huge France pack. So unless there are any knocks, unless there's any undue fatigue, which really there shouldn't be within this Irish team with the, the way they're looked after in their system, then there, I see no reason uh, for them to start with anything other than the team that started last week or the forwards that started last week. So moving onwards, let's take a look at the backs and same, same. Honestly, this back line were excellent, really well balanced. They had incision through Aki and Henshaw. They've got pace on the wings, great kicking options throughout. Crowley had a, a very decent game. Uh, I think there's a higher ceiling there for him. I don't think I was anywhere near his best, but he was constantly going at it, which um, impressed me, even though he did make a few mistakes, particularly early on. I thought Henshaw was probably the pick of the Irish backs, creating time and space. For, um, for Aki to get around the outside, which created Gibson Park's try, and then also created the time and space for Nash to get over in the corner as well. So again, unless there's any knocks, unless there are any, you know, any other reasons, maybe um, Farrell might want to try a slightly different combination in terms of tactics, but in terms of performance, I certainly see no reason to change this at all. Going onto the bench and possibly, possibly. I think the front row replacements picked themselves. They were all right off the bench. I'm, I'm really getting more and more impressed with Bielham and the height and consistency of his scrummaging. I think he's doing very well there. But in the rest of the back, uh, the rest of the bench, there's a question mark here. Will he go with a 6-2 or will he swap back to a, a 5-3? And I think... Um, and if he does, you know, who, which back would then come in? And I, I guess you're probably looking at a back three player. So maybe Jordan Lama or or Stockdale, uh, who has been in the international wilderness for quite some time. And again, it's a balanced thing. Who are they playing against? What kind of game does he expect to see? I think he might go back to 5-3. I think Ryan keeps his place on the bench. And along with Conan and, and Baird, very unluckily to miss out on this occasion. Murray and Frawley to carry on. And then I think Jacob Stockdale will come back in. I think he deserves a chance. He was a he was an absolutely wildly exciting winger three or four years ago, and he's coming back to form. So it'd be good to see him. And I think that might, you know, they might potentially look to protect Lowe uh, to take him off towards the end. And that means Stockdale will be a good replacement for him. Now, what did our Andy Farrell think? Andy Farrell said this week after the game how in, 
pleased he was with the composure and intent of this Irish team. And that says to me that they are very sort of mentally secure. They're mentally switched on. They're very mature in this respect. And that's what the best teams are. They're able to apply themselves uh, to a high level, no matter what the situation, no matter what the distraction. You know, if a team gets somebody sent off or, you know, any other kind of thing, the crowd, all these types of things. Question is, will Ireland be able to still maintain that incredibly high, consistent level of performance this weekend when they'll be viewed by most people, at least, as very heavy favourites? That's the question as I see it. What do you think about this Irish team? Do you think this is the team that Farrell will pick or do you think he maybe want to rotate some people in, get some more game time throughout his squad? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you think this Ireland team is going to beat Italy as well and I'll join you there for a conversation. Give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind while you're down there. It just helps everybody find it, which is, uh, which is good for everybody. And you can hit subscribe there. You can watch that one next and don't forget to get out and play.